Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. I really appreciate you guys stopping by uh, for another beer review. Tonight we've got a beer from Creature Comforts. I think this is the first uh, Creature Comforts beer we've done on the channel. Um, I've had this one several times, but it's a great beer. It's, uh, it's always um, something I pick up when it comes out. Uh, this is going to be, again, this is Automatic Pale Ale. Uh, this one comes in at five and a half percent. Yeah, it's uh, it's a great beer. Uh, we're gonna get into it though here. Uh, this one was canned on June twenty third, August. We're a little over two months old. Not super worried about that at all. I like the can art though. Uh, let's see, Creature Comforts is in Athens, Georgia, and it's got some. I think it's like. Maybe like little parts from around their town or something. I don't really know for sure, but um, the untapped it's getting a 4.02. It just says uh, American Pale Ale, Mosaic, and Crystal Hops. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Get into this one. What do you know? We have got a clear beer on our hands. It's got a little bit of a chill haze to it, but uh, it's a light straw color with two fingers worth of rocky medium sized head. Yeah, very nice looking beer. I really like the color on it, very pale. Let's go ahead and uh, shove our nose in this one. Yeah, it's big on the mosaic. Uh, that's the biggest thing that I take away from this beer. Well, it's got like a nice uh, berry characteristic. It's got that like sweaty gym sock uh, slash caddy dankness that I pick up with mosaic. It's got some nice like orange juice um, characteristics to it, even some tropical flavors like pineapple and mango. Like it's not like insanely explosive out of the glass, but at the same time, it's not just, it's not like, you know, undetectable or something like that. It's very aromatic for, for what this is. I mean, it's just a, a little pale ale. It's not a New England style or anything like that. Uh, but it is very juicy uh, hop, you know, aroma to it. So let's go ahead and taste it. This uh, smells great. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, man. That beer is so easy drinking. Uh, five and a half percent, it's a crusher. It's got, it, the flavor carries over almost identical to the nose. Uh, it's big on the mosaic. It's big on that berry character, that blueberry. Uh, it's big on the citrus and the pineapple and the mango. And it does carry over that dankness as well, that catty dankness. <clears throat> Good level of carbonation to this. Uh, it's a little bit of like a, a prickly carbonation. Got a nice little bit of like a bready malt in there on the backbone. This beer, this beer is very dry though. Like it, after you swallow it, it almost feels like it takes like a layer of your teeth with it. Um, and then it, it just, the sweetness is there for a second. And then it's gone. I mean, it, it's just gone. Um, yeah, fantastic beer though. That, that dryness to it definitely makes it something that you could crush, you know, for, uh, you know, it'd be so easy to drink a six-pack of these uh, doing the yard work or, you know, hanging out outside or whatever. Uh, it's a perfect, just everyday drinker, in my opinion. Great, great beer.
Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to say about it. Like, it's nothing like, it's not going to blow you away or anything like that, but it's definitely, um, it's definitely on the higher tier uh, when it comes to just like standard like American pale ale, hoppy American pale ales. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, you know, that I would pick over this one, you know, for what this is, for this, you know, it's a clear, you know, American pale ale, hop forward, juicy American pale ale. Uh, it, it's just fantastic for what it is, and, uh, you know, I have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, I love drinking this beer every time I can get my hands on it. So, um, any uh, anybody else out there who's had this beer, we'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about it. Um, you know, I hope you guys uh, are able to get things like this in your area. You know, let me know if there's something out there that you guys drink that may be similar to this. You know, it's like an easy, accessible uh, pale ale, you know, local or, you know, in your region or whatever that, you know, is just something that you can crush that's got a nice hoppy uh, aroma and hoppy flavor to it. Because it's, uh, these are just, I feel like I don't come by them enough. And I wish it was more common because it's just something I really enjoy. So anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I definitely recommend it. Let me know if you've had it and uh, let me know what you thought of it. And uh, we'll see you guys um, in the next one. But until then, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers.